Okay, oh, yeah, guys, I'm deciding to do a tier list of uh, mainly World War II helmets. There are a few that are in the World War One era, and I am no expert on helmets, and a lot of this is going to be personal preference, so if you take offense, I really don't care. So here we go. We're going to start at the very top with the Adrian helmet, which is the, the French helmet. Um, I'm not sure what variations they had during World War One and World War II. Uh, it looks nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure this would have been painted more of a... I have no fucking idea. A green? I mean, in World War One, I, I think they had some kind of blue. Uh, the France lost, and the helmet didn't really save them. But it is, to me, a nice-looking helmet, so I'm going to put it in the B tier. Now you have the classic Brody helmet, which, once again, I'm pretty sure the British had different... Uh, variations of this helmet. I'm pretty sure the Americans also used this helmet at the start of World War II before they updated. Um, I mean, it's an, a decent looking helmet. I mean, you know, it kind of looks like a bull to me, but I do think it's better than the uh, French helmet by a long shot. Still, uh, it's not that much better, so I'm still going to be a, a B tier. Then you got the Polish helmet, which really just it looks like a helmet that I don't really know how to how to add on to this, but I mean, I don't like the Polish that much, so it's gonna go in D because I don't care. Uh, the M1, which is the classic American helmet, it served all the way up to 85. It serviced until 85 is what I checked. I don't know when it started. I didn't check that. Um, I mean, it's a decent looking helmet, uh, but I like it better than all the other ones that we just did, so it's gonna go A tier. Airborne Trim Helmet, which is British, um, it literally just looks like a fucking bull. Um, I don't like bull helmets, it's going E. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of room, probably. Uh, the Turtle Helmet, which I think is another, like, updated kind of paratrooper special forces helmet. I'm not quite sure, I didn't really look into it. Uh, once again, it's gonna go E, I don't like it. Um, Pith Helmet, which I'm pretty sure would obviously be different between country to country that we're fighting in Africa. I mean, it's it protects you from the sun, it looks kind of cool, I mean, it's not as cool as the original uh, pith helmet that the British used, but I mean, it's, I guess it's okay, it's going to go C. The Ushanka, uh, or Ushanka, I think that's how you pronounce it, I mean, offers like no protection whatsoever, but it looks cool, keeps you warm. Uh, that one is going to go into uh, double S because it just, it looks, it looks rad. Then we got, the next few are the Soviet line of helmets, they got the uh, SSH-36, which has a weird dome thing on it. I don't really like that. Kind of looks like a German helmet. Uh, it's going to go in B tier. Uh, the 39, which is probably the more iconic and more uh, vastly used helmet, as I'm sure they still haven't updated completely when Germany invaded. That one is going to go in A tier. We have the 40, which almost, you know, like these two kind of look a little bit like the American profile, not quite. But that one's going to go in S tier because, you know, Soviet's strong. Uh, this is a Hungarian helmet. Looks pretty German to me. Uh, besides maybe the fact that it's a little bit more, you know, rounded on top. And, like, it looks, in my opinion, it looks a lot nicer than the Stahlhelm. Like, the earlier versions of the Stahlhelm. Which, you know, probably sacrilege is to say. That one's going to go uh, B tier. There's a lot of B tiers. Now, the Hachimaki, which was used mainly in Kamikaze, uh... Uh, pilots or whatever. I don't fucking know what it does. Maybe it's like Inspire Victory or, or something like that. Um, I mean, the, the downside is it has like a huge target right here. You just sh aim for that and shoot in the head. But I mean, like, you know, it empowers you to fight for the, the Emperor even though you're fighting a losing war. Uh, I'm going to put that in A tier. Obviously, also no protection whatsoever. The M33 he Italian helmet. I'm sorry, that's going in F tier. Uh, don't like Italy, so they can uh, die. Um, the M35, I don't have a lot of the German variant, so, you know, uh, bear with me. This is when they still had, like, those fucking, what do you call those, insignia plates or whatever? This is the, the, the Wehrmacht uh, version with the huge-ass fucking lugs things that they ended up doing away with. Uh, I mean, it's iconic helmet, so it's definitely going to go in S tier. And then we have the, uh, the SS helmet, which is pretty much the same thing, but because it's SS, it's going in SS tier. Then we have this thing, the Romanian M39, which, um, I mean, I tried making it on my guys. It's really hard to do, but it's not the worst helmet. Still, it's going to go in C tier. I mean, no, D tier. There we go. That's more fitting for it. 
And then we got this ugly thing, which is post-World War II, which was the East German helmet. I mean, this is not even going to go on the board, so it's going to go down here for, like, f fucking... It, it's just so gross. This thing, I I don't like it. it, it like, look at it. It's, like, it's so kind of... not kind of square-like. It's just, to me, it's fucking ugly. It's going half. Um, Belgium helmet, I mean, it looks like a Brody mixed with an Adrian, and then they had some kind of retarded kid, so that's going to go in E tier. A Czech helmet, just a giant bull, E tier. Denmark, <laughs> E tier. I'm not even going to talk about that one. Greece, uh, Greece looks fucking ugly, sorry. Uh, that tier. Uh, Japan, I mean, it looks like a nice helmet to me. It's not completely terrible. Uh, fuck, let's put that. Oh, yeah, they also have stars on it, so it's going to go in S tier. Now, the lens kind of looks a little bit like the Romanian helmet, so it's going to go in D tier. Um, Sweden. They got the cool little, little fucking crowns on them, so it makes it slightly better <laughs> than the other ones I put on D tier. We got Switzerland, which looks like a fucking ceramic bull. That's gonna go in F tier. Then we got Yugoslavia, uh, which is the uh, fucking the like nineteen nineteen uh, fifteen variant. I mean, they didn't really have many after that. They were all Soviet adopted. I mean, it's like an Adrian Brody kind of mix too. It's not. It's a little bit better than the Belgian one, so I'm going to put it in D tier. And then, uh, I guess that's it. Or so you thought. We got the uh, Pickle Helb, which, uh, in my opinion, it's the uh, best helmet ever. So it's going to go God tier. And thank you guys for watching, and that's it.